The community of Albertville is coming together to support a deputy who is in the hospital. Marshall County Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy Steve Guthrie's family says he's been hospitalized since October 22nd. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us now live in Albertville. So, Emily, what can you tell us about the Chief Deputy's injuries and what's the community doing to help him and his family? Good evening. While well, the community is really rallying around the chief deputy, not sure if you can see it over my shoulder here, but Jefferson's is just one of many restaurants to add a pray for Steve to the sign. I think we'll keep that sign up there until we know, you know everything's good with him. Jefferson's, McDonald's, Hardee's, Wendy's, and other businesses are asking for the community to support Marshall County Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy Steve Guthrie. According to Guthrie's wife, he has severe brain damage in multiple areas. In a social media post, Guthrie's wife said he's non responsive right now. Guthrie was admitted to the hospital on October 22nd before being transferred to Huntsville Hospital on October 28th. Guthrie's wife said the brain damage was. A result of him coding. She said doctors performed CPR for 10 minutes before they were able to bring him back to life. Due to his condition, people in the community are asking for prayers. And we certainly want him to be okay, and our prayers are certainly with him and his family. Russell Johnson, the general manager of the Wendy's in Albertville, said they typically sell ad space on the sign. However, they thought this was more important. We just wanted to all pull together and say our prayers for Steve. This is a really tight knit community up here, so we all pull together when we can. Pulling together is a common theme in the area. We've been uh, supporting the community since 2009, and when we heard about his story, um, we wanted to be in support of that also. I feel like Abbeville always comes, Marshall County always comes together um, to support. Now, at this time, it is important to note that his injuries are not job related, and his family says they are hoping for a miracle. Live in Albertville, Emily Mosher, News 19.